All right, welcome to episode eight of Five Minutes to Save You 50, where I promise five minutes or so with me will save you easily 50 minutes over the year, whether it's a bunch of small tasks where I shave 30 seconds or just pain in the ass type stuff out of your day, or I circumvent the need to get a graphics artist involved in your work, how to get more efficient, how to bring presentations alive. That's all the stuff you're learning here in this series. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter at Big Data underscore Paul Z. So today I'm going to talk about presentation templates. Now we're doing some enablement on our team, and you know here's an example of the presentation, and it follows uh, a template, um, and it's got you know a certain layout, certain colors, whatever. Maybe it's 16 by 9. Maybe it's a lot more pretty. This is uh, for technical folks. They typically like a lot more substance than than colors, if you will, but. Um, so when I go to create something in PowerPoint, let's say I'm creating brand new, what a lot of people do is they go and open an old presentation like this, <clears throat> and then go through and delete a bunch of slides and then start from scratch, assuming they have a clean template. And maybe that template can change. Now, who's ever in charge of the training or whatever you're doing in your company probably has this uh, POTX file, which is a PowerPoint template file. And how do I make it so that when I come here and I say file new from template, it shows up here? And that's what I'm going to show you how to do because it's not as intuitive uh, as it should be or as you would think. So I'm going to go to that download file and I'm just going to grab it and drop it into this little nifty tool that I use um, to hold files on a Mac. It makes it easier to copy, paste and move it. So where do you have to go to put the template in? And that's the trick for today. Well, you press go. You got to go to the library. Of course, you don't see the library there. So you got to hold down the command button or I'm sorry, the uh, option button and you press library okay so that's the first stage and then in uh, library there's this folder called group containers and then in group containers you kind of drill down to this ubf8t346g9.office file I, I don't even know where that idea is coming from and then from there you know you can see there's tons of files here you go into user content and then from there you go into templates so here you can see the full path, users, my name, Paul Zacopoulos, in my library under group containers in some freaky looking folder, dot office, in user content templates. Now typically library folders hidden and if you haven't set up your Mac this way, if you go and search for the folder, it won't show up. And so in here, I'm just gonna drag and drop that template in here, okay? So that's fine, so now it's moved out of there. Um, and now what we'll do is I would recommend that you uh, quit PowerPoint, restart it. And there you go. Now when I create a new presentation, I just click here and I get started. And it actually gives me, you know, here's the, all the uh, rules of this particular template. That's because whoever built this did a great job of, of managing a template. So there you go. Five minutes to save you 50, you have five or six templates, depending what you're doing when you make multiple presentations for those templates. This is what you do. Move it into that folder and uh, life becomes easy.